This lesson is supposed to be a little bit funny, but a, with a little bit of seriousness thrown in. Uh, somebody put on my website that they'd like to see a method for getting a pick out of an acoustic guitar. Now there are all sorts of funny uh, stories that I can tell you about this. I might share a couple with you if this doesn't work just for fun and I'll get the hammer out and smash my guitar up and stuff. But uh, in all seriousness there's a little method that I use which is probably not very difficult or anything like that but maybe some of you haven't figured it out yet. Um, so. You're playing away and you're all happy, having a nice time, and suddenly, oh, your pick's gone inside the sound hole. Big problem? Well, not really. So, the way that I usually solve it is I jiggle the pick around, so when I'm looking directly down into the sound hole, I can see the pick more or less in the middle, maybe slightly that further that way, like towards you now, so away from my body. Now, holding the guitar up, and this is probably not going to work, being that I'm trying to show you on a video how to do it, which We'll make it kind of funny, but we'll see if it doesn't work anyway. So, I'm holding the guitar and I'm going to flip it really quickly, and hopefully the pick will fall out the sound hole. So, either I'll drop my guitar or the pick won't come out or something, because it's on video and that's the sort of thing that happens. But here we go. And it didn't work. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. Hang on. Here we go. This is, Remember, this, we only got 10 minutes, mate. This, this, so. <laughs> we have only got 10 minutes, haven't we? Okay, let's just try that again. Because it nearly always works for me, and I, I know, of course, I knew this lesson was going to be funny because of Sod's Law. Now, I've just got the pick in the position again. Let's see if we can do it the second time. No! It still hasn't worked. Hang on. Oh, no, but it was on the strings. Oh, bugger. Dude, I'm going to nip out the Carluccio, so I'll be back okay, later can on. You get, can you get me a coffee, Jeff? <laughs> sure. On. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, no. I'm going to have a fucking pick rattling around in my guitar now for the rest of my lessons today. <clears throat> Here we go. Last time. <laughs> it, it hasn't worked again. can't believe it. Okay, so now I have to show you... <laughs> I have to show you another trick. <laughs> I don't know where it is, I would have given it. Where's it going? Come on, come on, Pete. <laughs> oh, I love this sort of stuff. It's so much fun. Okay, so the other one that's really stupid... <laughs> is putting a blob of blue tack on the end of a pencil. <laughs> do you know I just love this? It's brilliant. But before I do that, I'm not going to be defeated because my method nearly always works. Yay! <laughs> See, I could do it all along. I was just kind of making those other ones up for a bit of comedy camera action. Um, no, that's actually not true. So, just to prove it, here we go. Pick in again. <clears throat> See if I can't do it a second time now. Here we go. And it didn't work. Okay. No, oh, no, 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 I'm literally throwing it out. Okay, hang on. Jet, just keep that camera rolling. Hang on, one second. I'll just go and get the blue tack and the pencil. <coughs> so, uh, hang on. Yeah, uh, Jet, can you entertain the good people there for, for a minute while I find some blue tack? Mm. Jet, tell me what you <coughs> Did you hear the one about the kiwi <laughs> and the and the something? Uh, hang on. Actually, oh. I was about to lay into something like sort of. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Taking blue tack from your clock? Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. He's got blue tack. Blue tack everywhere. This man. Yeah, apparently. So let's see if this method works any better. This is really funny. <laughs> this is possibly the dumbest YouTube lesson I've ever given. I mean, depending on if you like me or not, I guess. Um, so now all we're doing is we're just. Gonna, I've just attached a bit of blob of blue tack to the end of my pencil, which I'm going to then press on the pick. And, first go. So, first of all, what we've learned from today's lesson is Justin is quite often wrong. He's not very good at getting a, ple a plectrum out of his guitar. Heaven help me if I do that on stage. That's, I guess, why I have to have a guitar tech. Um, mm. Or, you need a pencil and a piece of blue tack, and you can get your guitar pick out right away. Let's try that a second time now, just to see if we're right. So of course, you need to be able to see the bloody thing first. And in we go, pressing on the pick, and there we have it. So, there you go, boys and girls, the perfect way to get your pick out of your guitar. Justin, just quickly, you're bound yes. to get questions on this. What lead is your pencil? Oh, the pencil. It's very important um, that you have a HB rubber-tipped pencil with little stars on it, and it helps if it's red. But, you know. Um, do I need to teach you how to strum that one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, have fun with that. I hope you've had as much fun laughing at me as I have had laughing at me. And um, I'll see you for another proper lesson sometime soon. <laughs>